and the fact it's done in the in Moscow State University, it's just wonderful. I'm very glad to see it. Let me say a couple of words. Dear colleagues, Vladimir Arkady Dmitrievich, this is very, this award calls for high responsibility in the year when we celebrate 150th anniversary of the genius. His scientific contribution has not been fully appreciated in this country, let alone abroad, but it's important that Bernatsky, being a genius, has forewarned the development of, has foreseen the development of human civilization. He saw the relationship between living and not living organisms and the relationship with the intellect. Uh, it is my distinct pleasure to state that Vernadsky, being a professor of the Moscow, Moscow University 110 years ago during his lectures, in Moscow University started thinking about global processes and their relationship about the development of the planet Earth as a whole as an entity with the life uh, and inorganic substance their interaction create something new called NOS intellect which formed the new stage in the development of uh, this planet and the development of the matter. Being, a, being in high school, I visited the places where uh, Vernadsky uh, practiced being a student. It's in the Novgorod region. So being a student there, he made his first research and he studied uh, the excavated uh, remains. I found, I found uh, the this article. It's in archives of Gorkovska region, Gorka region. So, being a student, he very carefully, meticulously described his findings, uh, which manifested his strife towards uh, knowledge and understanding of the matter in this world. He is not just a scientist, he's an organizer. Without a teacher, without him, there would not be a strong uh, Soviet Union, Iridium Institute, his uh, participation in political life of this country was always at the forefront, all so powerful, so much energy. How did he, he sympathized the horrible event that happened in this country and due to his power and intellect he remained needed to both the Tsarist power and the Soviet uh, Soviet Union he was a state councillor during the Soviet time he was a member of uh, provisional government and then he was bestowed Stalin prize so he survived all these periods and his ideas will survive many many generations ahead of us and will become a light directing us to the progress of civilization thank you very much for this high award and let's pay tribute to the memory of our great compatriot mr uh, professor Bernatsky. The order is bestowed to Nikolai Mahmudov. I don't see I don't see him here. I know him well. Work together. Excuse me. And if he'll come, please pass the award to him. He's worth it. In case he will not show up, we'll award him at the Public Council of Rostechnadzor, because he is a member of this council which I am a head of. Natalia Ramishevska, not here. Okay, we'll leave the word here. So, as for Ramishevsky, we'll know. Uh, Michael Titarenka, academician of the Russian Academy of Sciences. He was here yesterday, not here today. Okay. And it is my 
distinct pleasure to bestow a word upon Arkady Ursul, who had a lot of common, many years of joint work on environmental issues. You know, I, for many years I was head the department, uh, State Duma Department on Environment, prior to this six years in the Council of Federation. And, but we always heard about Ursul, that he was studying environmental processes. I congratulate you from the bottom of my heart and thank you for the, your contribution. And he's one of our teachers, although probably he's the same age as I am. No, I believe I'm older. I'd like to say a few words. Yes, Vladimir and I know each other from the days he was the head of environmental department of the state Duma we worked together there we drafted legislation and we have developed this environmental trend which we are still developing I'd like to thank the leadership of environmental foundation and personally it's the president of this foundation and its staff for many, many years, I am closely working with the Vernalsky Foundation, and I have, best, uh, I have received high awards in the year 2000. It was Vernalsky Medal for the Contribution in Sustainable Development 2004. It was National Environmental Prize uh, named after Vernalsky. Uh, so I'm very grateful to the Foundation and I believe we'll work together in the future. So thank you personally for this award. For sure we'll work together, no doubt. Here is your award certificate. Vernadsky Foundation has a status of uh, uh, with the organization of the, uh, the UN has conducted a number of events abroad a group of Russian scientists went to France where they held a UNESCO conference there were conferences in Czechia, Germany, Ukraine so-called Vernadsky parallels so we started our awards with one of the most famous scientists of today Boris Paton 94 years we celebrated his, his 90 we celebrated his 94th anniversary recently so the session of Academy of Sciences on the day of Vernadsky 150th anniversary we have bestowed a award on the person who is the head of Academy for many many years Boris Paton a legendary person who related science with practice Uh, welding institute which is beyond goes beyond welding studying uh, other technical processes things which I know from our Academy of Sciences so we started the strong awards from uh, with this person now we'd like to award four participants uh, of international conference our foreign colleagues first of all Chan Shafua Chairman of Organization for Support of Global Civilization, a foreign member of our Academy, Chairman of the Organizing Committee of this Congress. Welcome to the podium. You know, it is my distinct pleasure and honor to bestow the award on the representative of our brother Chinese people. We've 
lived through different periods. We had, we were friends before, and now we have wonderful relationship again. So it's, it's my pleasure. Thank you for this award from the foundation. It will stimulate and inspire me for further work. And I will carry this medal and think about Vernadsky ideas and implement them into the activity of our organization for support of global civilization. I'm from China. And as of today, I will dutifully study or not ideas and bring them to China. Thank you once again. Thank you, Foundation. Thanks to the Foundation once again. Next, our awarded person, David Millen, professor from Great Britain. Trotskist, который. He's not here. I uh, He's not here with us. Next person to be awarded uh, is William Beeman. Professor from the Minnesota State in the US, in USA, from the University of Minnesota. <coughs> now I'll come up to him, yes. I'll go down to him to award him. Greatly honored by this award, and it, especially in the name of uh, Vladimir Vernadsky, certainly one of the great scientists of the world, who I hope the world will know better after this uh, conference. Uh, we, uh, we want to show, I think through this conference, the importance of the international relations and the cementing of cooperation between all nations, but particularly the great nations of Russia, China, and uh, the nations of Europe and the United States. Thank you very much for this award. I'm greatly honored. Thank you. Thank you. Is Kenya here? The Kenyan, Kenyan representative, I mean. Mr. Gapon Gakura from Kenya. Excuse me, will you excuse me if I sort of mispronounce your name or whatever? I lost my specs. Not very clear where. Yeah, he's coming. He, he is approaching us. Kenya. My congratulations to you.
thank you very much yes but just wait a sec this goes to you as well what do you like uh, uh, I would like to express my deep felt appreciation of this recognition and respect and honor uh, on behalf of my colleagues back in Africa um, and uh, uh, the pursuit of knowledge uh, for us back home is uh, one of the biggest challenges building uh, schools of thought and uh, pursuing uh, the existing models to see how they can help us solve our many problems. I would I'd like to assure the uh, Congress that uh, uh, the ideas uh, that uh, are in the works of um, Van and and uh, other leading uh, scientists will be useful in guiding our scholarly pursuits and development. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So all those awarded with this great honorable medal, some other, those who were nominated but who haven't uh, get this, or will get this, yes. Now we are in the middle of a Congress on the Environmental Protection, 3,000 delegates and, you know, and I'm taking active part in it. I wish you all the best. Everything is going to be all well. We will overcome. Thank you very much. Dear colleagues, on behalf of the, all those awarded and those who are going to get this honorable award, to, con to express my gratitude to Vladimir Ivanovich for the, his mission and this uh, pleasant surprise for us. And now you probably uh, know that it's uh, a lot of time was taken by this ceremony. All presenters will be restricted in their time. The time will be restricted to five minutes every presentation. I will misuse of my this uh, position in the panel. I will I will give the floor to myself and make a presentation. Of course, I will, I will try to compress it to some sort of, uh, I will, so it is called Tunaspheric Civilization um, through sustainable development. I only wanted to draw your attention to the part of this uh, a presentation which is related to modern understanding of uh, Vernadsky theory and before the concept of the sustainable development were de developed, before it was developed in one direction and now regardless of the fact that this theory is one of the metallurgical foundations of uh, the of the concept of sustainable development, but at the same time, there exists the uh, the flow of knowledge in the opposite direction from the concept of development to the Nasphere theory. And in this respect, and in this, in uh, so in a neoclassical stage, neoclassical stage from Leroy to Yard de Chardin and Vernadsky. It was a classic, a classic stage, and now we yes, say 10 to 15 years old. A new uh, stage, a new era is sta has started, or the neoclassical era. Concept of sustainable development on the Nosferis. It is the contribution to the Nosferic theory, uh, or we call it now Nosferic studies. It is a neoclassical stage. We consider, we are uh, convinced 
that development of Noosphere will happen through, take place through sustainable development. This point of view is probably correct, and uh, at least 20 years ago it, it was spoken out, and it is confirmed. Increasing the sustainable development is increasingly developing due to the efforts provided by the United Nations and those who follow uh, their recommendations. This theory is acquiring the nosphere direction or dimension. A part of that, a part of the fact that nospheric civilization will be developed s uh, through sustainable development, but I want to stress the uh, development of the uh, information society appearing on our sphere uh, will become obvious uh, with the erasing of global information society which will be um, featured by the global monospheric in intellect it is what required by the theory of sustainable development as well as further uh, development of the noosphere. Uh, this development of the global noospheric intellect uh, will uh, manifest the uh, the first stage of the which Professor again Mission Vernadsky was called in for noosphere. The second stage is related to uh, other global problem. The point is that transfer to the sustainable development. It is not only uh, solution to atmospheric problems, but all solution is a key to, solu to solution of other problems. Then that's why global studies come to the first stage, uh, to the cutting edge of science, because the, the solution of this problem is related to transfer to the sustainable development. This is key. I will stop, because I believe that we have this and, and a number of published works in the magazine in, in, in the fourth issues of the Partnership and Civilization magazine. And this is a call to the other presenters to only stress uh, the most important issues here while in the course of their presentations. Thank you. The floor goes to The floor goes to Professor Ebbes Gauser. In the, the presentation is called Man and Cosmos according to Vernadsky and Chardin. Thank you very much, Professor. You have the floor. Доброе утро, дамы и господа. Хотел бы поговорить о Вернадском и there are a few people who are pioneers in several disciplines. There's the famous Vernadsky, so he's very well known here. I don't have to talk very much about him. So he's the inventor of the nose pair, and he has friends and also scientists he worked, he worked with. And there's one important from Paris, that's Taya de Jardin. And he works in a totally different way. He's also a scientist, but he's also a man of religion and of the Jesuit. And he overtook the new ideas of Nosfer, which he worked together with uh, Bernatsky, in the religious field. So he adopted the um, new thinking of development, which has Darwin and also um, other philosophers in the field of religion. So he helped to overcome the duality of good and evil, bad and punishment, and all these fixed beliefs, and he changed it into a development. And man is just not finished. He's in the process of developing, and the evil served to overcome the, arm, the own unimpressed unperfectionist 
and to, uh, to develop in further, um, let's say, uh, future paradigma. So there is Vernadsky in Russia, there's far away the um, Chardin, and there's also in Germany Werner Heisenberg in a totally different field, he's a physician, and he develops the quantum physics, which change the old, let's say, mechanic, Newton physics in the very movable and free quantum physics, which now is beginning to evolve and to have more importance in our days. So we have these three persons as pioneers of a really new paradigm and a new age, and they help us now. One belief from Chardin, which is very important, is that man is, uh, what is in English, uh, has responsible for his, what he's doing, and his responsibility makes his development of consciousness. And I think we just should take this over for our way of doing things. So thank you very much. I want to be sure. Уважаемые коллеги, ну вот я хочу продолжить, по сути дела, те идеи, то выступление, которое здесь было заложено в выступлении нашего председателя Аркадия Чурчула. Ну, мы сегодня и вообще весь этот год вспоминаем Вернадский. So all this year is a year of Вернадский, due to his um, remarkable deeds and achievements, where every scientist, whatever is his narrow specialization, he or she will remember his teaching about Nasphere. Actually, it is. it was not... He didn't pretend to be the author of this concept, but this teaching, this thought about no sphere, is not just a con another concept, not just another idea. It, in my, to my opinion, it's a system of uh, knowledge, system of holistic methodology, system of approaches and methods um, aimed for uh, studying the complicated world. And I'm absolutely sure that today this methodology opens the way uh, to better understanding of the sustainable development, ideas of sustainable development. That's why I headed this, um, my presentation in such a way. We know that the idea of Noosphere was published in his work, Scientific Thought as a Planetary um, manifestation. It was published long after it was published in 1937 and it is the world in the first literature experience of holistic uh, generalization of the ge of geological uh, ge geochemical and anthropogenic process in the history of the planet Earth. I want to start from of these words um, namely the last one, that biosphere has a strong force, cosmic uh, fi flight, uh, spice force, and it is a human will of a, of, a, of a human being who is a civil being. And let's ask ourselves, uh, if the common human will today is perfect enough to arrive at the solutions of the most important uh, challenges facing us um, today. I will quote Emmanuel Wellerstein at, uh, from the Yale University today, which who is toughly criticizing and saying that the, that the system uh, is um, 
is in crisis from which it is well it's going to be very difficult to come out uh, about the crisis a lot is said about the crisis but i wanted to draw attention into four issues crisis of the consumerism concept <coughs> over crisis of the overproduction but the overproduction when there is a great uh, <coughs> discrepancy between the distribution of uh, resources and wealth Next, it's energetic and ecological disbalances, which threatens to the, the opportunity of sustainable development. And then it is uh, losing of belief in science and the scientific uh, technical progress. Innovation, innovation pause is not just words. But, and finally, oh, no, the somewhere next slide please we are facing the necessity to introduce supplementary life uh, impulses to the concept of uh, sustainable development which we, until now we thought we knew everything about it the vernatsky methodology can help us here but my question is to what extent global manifestations of this intellect that Vernadsky mentioned are possible and of organized human will or we can talk about local manifestations next slide please why am I speaking about it because we see that globalization has somehow somewhat dimmed it's still alive but it's not as bright as what was but we see and we see new uh, trends related to localization like uh, shale revolution in the united states which provides new opportunities for americans return of uh, real production to the united states which they previously uh, delegated to developing countries opening the store the resources that were stored previously and other preparations which we for whatever reason neglect we also talked about uh, concentration of China on its development and providing development in its own interests and even European integration policy with all its short shortcomings it's also integration and globalization localization sorry and this graph illustrates the development of uh, the shale revolution currently one-third of gas produced by the United States is shale gas the future is shown here for five years the increase of shale gas were 35 percent per year increase of shale gas production well we'll not comment this slide the main thing I wanted to say what's in the future what's next we see that spendings uh, of uh, energy resources in developing countries grow faster than ev world average it is quite clear uh, that it uh, creates damage for environments who should bear the burden of this 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 graph illustrates contributions to uh, carbon uh, CO2 emissions with the cream color share of population of the respective countries and uh, uh, crimson color indicates their share in CO2 pollution we see it in America the largest emission and the ratio of uh, emission towards population China has much higher population lower emission than the United States but high as well as for other countries they still have where to grow speaking about their emissions uh, to reach American level so the thought is if emissions are increasingly higher 
from the developing nations, they should be responsible. But one has to take into account their level. There are a few people, I found this in Stiglitz's works, who said that the main burden should be placed on developed countries, prosperous countries, others think differently. Uh, the world scenarios are very interesting. Here are four scenarios of the United Nations uh, Environmental Protection Program. First is uh, market first scenario, the one that we see now. Only the fourth one, sustainability first, based on sustainability concept. But the third scenario is implemented called security first as based on the following assumption that those who are now developing well uh, who has already well developed technologies they should use bulk of world resources so the concept of individualism and egoism in development still remains here the assumption is what Stiglitz says so far, it's just words, which are not implemented. And speaking about time factor and taking it into account, let's move further. We have to take into account the starting point. This graph shows uh, energy consumption per capita in some countries. Russia is the furthest right rectangle. Next to it, the United States, Canada, and Norway. Why the United States is clear, but Canada and Norway have similar climate to Russia. So their per capita consumption of electricity, Russia consumes more than average in the world, but in order to introduce energy saving technologies we have to increase energy consumption of labor which requires considerable spendings huge spendings the challenge of sustainable development may not be resolved outside of the starting point differences and russia being a large country with a huge territory should and can and should rapidly develop economically. This level, uh, this graph illustrates the level of preservation of natural ecological ecosystems. Whatever wrongdoings our, our wrongdoings are in environmental sense, our level of preservation of ecosystems is uh, by magnitude of ten higher than in Europe. So we can rapidly developed based on energy saving technologies and resource saving technologies. Thank you. Thank you for your interesting presentation. And now the floor goes to Professor Gambortsev. Azari Grigorievich, uh, Chief Scientific Officer of uh, Russian Academy of Sciences, Schmidt Institute of Physics on Earth, on casual links between processes in nature and society. First of all, I'd like to thank the organizers for the invitation to speak at this uh, distinguished Congress, Vernadsky Noosphere, calls to, for harmonization of the nature, society, and individual. In order to have a healthier, healthier biosphere, we need to know the reasons for its uh, ailments. I will speak about the relationship between the human being and three medias, uh, animal, anthropogenic, and social. This issue is developed in the Atlas, now the, of which the fifth volume has been published this year, the Atlas of Natural, Anthropogenic, and Social Processes. Just skip the few slides all the way up to the picture. Yeah, here. So these are the five volumes of Atlas. 
more than 300 people took part in its preparation. Such leading scientists among them as Vaverov, Yanshin, Moiseev, Kapitsa, Yakovets. One of the volumes is dedicated to the memory of Vernatsky and Cherevsky. We compare dynamics of processes in society and nature and try to find casual links between them. We've studied dynamics of a number of uh, time sequences. Here are some of the results. Anthropogenic factor. On top. volume of water in the sea of Aral and the influx, the flow of water to the sea of Aral on the bottom. We see that it correlates and sometimes uh, the inflow was zero because everything was spent before. Uh, blue whale production, we see that from 15,000 the production uh, dropped down to one whale and uh, the whale hunters moved to smaller species. Each September 1993 to 2000 to, to, to 1999 the number of criminal case episodes in Russia, number of crime in Russia has in Moscow has increased in September. It happened every year beyond, uh, be, uh, beside, beside the year 2000 when a Stankino TV tower uh, had a fire and people watched less aggression on TV, therefore there was less hooliganism. Natural and climate uh, factor based on uh, ambulance calls. Here are timeline of different diseases. Uh, large fluctuations are annual. Small peaks are weekly fluctuations of different diseases. Weekly fluctuations are in every, with every disease. They are mm, uh, caused by social factors. These are respiratory infections and influenza and flu. Others do not have annual fluctuations. Differential of ambulance calls by gender and age. On the left, women pink, men dark violet, and we see for age 15 to 30, more men are getting sick, 30 to 60, less men are getting sick, and in old and senior years, there are less men getting sick than women. So we see these pictures in the atlas, similar pictures. Seasonal rhythm as a function of dynamics of temperature, outside temperature in summer and winter. In winter, of temperature and pressure. In winter, when the pressure drops by 10 hectopascals and more, more ambulance calls, there are more ambulance calls. Weekly rhythm on the second from the top diagram show the weekly cycle of diseases. Next, hot summer of 2010 in Moscow, ambulance calls for nervous diseases, uh, strokes, uh, hypoten uh, hypotension, pneumonia, people with or are predisposed for, to this disease. For them, the peak of ambulance calls 
was in hot summer of 2010. Well, but those suffering from hypertension, contrary to and soft uh, heart disease, contrary to medical expectation, they didn't even feel it. Here we see data on atmospheric pressure in Moscow during the hurricane of 1998. When atmospheric pressure dropped, we see on bottom graph the increase of ambulance calls for hypertension. Then the atmospheric pressure failed, the uh, fall had fallen, and the number of uh, ambulance calls has increased. So the comparison uh, and finding casual links between processes in nature and society should be foundation for harmonization of these processes, and I believe we have to uh, carry systematic medical monitoring in time and space, and I suggest to create Atlas fluctuations, uh, fluctuations for different regions of the world, and my suggestions I pass to the organizing committee. Thank you very much. And now, I would like to turn on a video from Singapore and Australia. You're not ready? If you're not ready, then the floor goes to Dr. Abdiv, Doctor of Philosophy, Candidate of Sciences, Engineering, and Professor of Bauman University. Oh, we have video. We have videos, yes. We are happy to address you through a video to all the representatives and delegates of the fourth global congress and we are happy to we're glad to take part in the development of declaration on environment protection we are fully aware in singapore the fact that the entire world has encountered challenges related to environment, protection, keeping the environmental uh, situation. We also are fully aware of existence of such challenges as Uh, non-harmonized distribution of wealth throughout the world, existence of threats related to information protection, negative influence of internet on uh, the young generation life. We have to understand what are the current crises in economics, environment, and culture. And here we have to pay special attention to environmental component, especially human thought environment. This is very important because the environment of human thought is the foundation for the 
improvement of the outside environmental situation. We have to first resolve environmental issues within ourselves and then start resolving environmental challenges in the outside world. Now, our wonderful planet is facing the threat of an environmental catastrophe. One may see how the soul symbolized by white color here suffers hazards from all kinds of poisons symbolized by dark uh, spots. We believe that the human being has to change his attitude towards modern values, both on spiritual and moral level. It is important. It is important to revisit the values do everything possible for the solution of uh, various issues, ecological issues. It's truly important to achieve the unity of unity of uh, issues related to the internal ecology of the human being and protection of the ecology outside the human humans, human personalities. Dear guests or delegates of the Congress, it's truly really important to love yourself, to you love your families, provide love to your state and all the planet Earth. This is the essential key to the It's important to put uh, to, to push the um, uh, racial racial contradictions gap um, generation gaps whatever all other to stop discrimination only this is the key on the our, our road to the solution of ecological problems. Hi everybody. This is Добрый день. Я хотел бы быть здесь с вами в Москве, на этом вашем конгрессе про диалог и цивилизацию, но не могу, не могу приехать, но хочу воспользоваться этой Thank you. 
Генерального секретаря Винсент Лоу. Ну а сейчас я уже объявил, когда профессор объявил. The chairman of the semi chair or vice chairman of the organization for support of the global civilization. Next presenter is So next, uh, but one presenter now after this presenter, they will be Professor Wan Bo from China. So I'm participant of, I participate in the launching of the first uh, artificial satellite of the Sputnik in the Soviet Union. 25 years were given to the development of the space techniques. And after that, I started, uh, I turned my interest into philosophy in 1961, back in 1969. I discovered a new, a new model of the development uh, from uh, the converging spirals of by Abzevska converging spirals. It raised philosophy to another level, classical philosophy to another level, to the height of informatics with the um, linked it to informatics, cybernetics and informatics. For the first time philosophy became pragmatic. Anal analytical uh, uh, illustrated, well illustrated and finally after 25 years of systemic um, cybernetic approach, in 1994, we published a monography, Philosophy of the Information Civilization, uh, which was very warmly uh, met, or there were lots and lots of responses. I visited more than 30 years of this in former Soviet Union about the on information uh, civilization. This book was um, published in 25,000 copies and was the first fundamental um, book on this process. This pragmatic philosophy showed that some discoveries show, please, next slide, please, thank you very much. It is the title of one of my presentation, or this presentation, further on, further on, go, go skip this, skip this. Scheme system, cybernetic approach. So converging uh, sp development spirals. Uh, before in the philosophy, in philosophy there was a old stereotypes uh, for 150 years uh, running, it was published and republished in philosophical um, and encyclopedias. In, in us, military cybernetics, we didn't trust it because this model uh, didn't have any parameters. It doesn't uh, didn't disclose any. It is called as uh, uh, sustainability spiral, and it shows the eternal, eternal uh, replacement of peaks. As there is no evolutionary stage, no evolutionary consensus. This convergence spirals. This was um, a real development in coordinates of entropy of information, where for every moment in development of evolution, the converging spirals, uh, 
it is known how, how much entropy is there left and how the process are going, at what pace, so, and how, where the number of peaks are decreasing. And after three or four peaks, uh, the evolutionary stage comes because uh, more information uh, is collected from between the peaks and the system comes to convergence. It is a symbol of sustainable development because the system accumulates information. It is a system of optimums. It was built at the example of um, sort of the table. It immediately became uh, uh, worldwide uh, adopted and is now in all in all we can find the centers in all academic um, and philosophical encyclopedias this model was immediately appreciated after my presentation at the philosophical congresses and it showed that convergence of different systems while more information this system uh, accumulate uh, become more become to order the number of peaks decreases sharp peaks and evolutionary stage starts it showed the opportunity of feasibility better to say to of um, making forecasts or predicting the development in the, in the beginning of uh, the 21st century in the year 2005 I revised many processes in the nature and systems and uh, I discovered that many processes have the trend they have the tendency to uh, to sustainable development at the World Philosophical Congress um, uh, last year, in the in 2012, I delivered this uh, idea to the public, and it was warmly um, accepted, and it was published in the collection of uh, presentations of the World Congress of uh, all all Russia Philosophical Congress. Now to the, the point of my today's presentation. You don't have enough time, unfortunately. I will just number, just very briefly, uh, without dwelling. We've discovered 10 directions of sustainable development, kind, the phenomenon of management, its effect of uh, sustainable development factors, uh, the system becomes self-organizing, self, -organizing, self um, bringing itself to perception, and even uh, doesn't need any reconstructions or reloads because every time new knowledge is added and there is no there is no need and there are no errors. There are no, there is no need in uh, rebuilding or restructuring the system. Secondly, ev evolution of management, as far as a uh, scientific uh, revolution is developing, there are three stages in management development. It's public relations, the usage of human resources, and thirdly, finally, organizational humanism. You just keep all the pages, please, further, further on, further on, further on, even further on. Three rectangles. Aha, these are they. The third, the third out uh, conclusion we arrived at. I'm finishing already.
pro self organizational processes in, in social uh, falsely. Uh, self-affection of the state uh, structures, at the examples of scheme, but for contribution to mass, mass, science mathematics is uh, doing into, uh, sec secondly, six, six point golden section in the life, in, in life nature, sevens, trends of the world economy, towards optimum. World economy is um, approaching the optimum further on to s the golden section, actually. There are the structure, state structures and which don't need any color. <laughs> The trends of the world economy are before. The trends of the world economy is, is moving towards this golden section. S8's uh, conclusion. Optimization. Trends of the world economy. To, to, towards optimum. Optimization of of industrial sphere, sphere moving f the need uh, of many uh, there is a, in need in labor resources, material resources, another resource that is diminishing is diminishing on the may on the way moving to the optimum of the global economy. AIDS, optimization, no. about the future of the mankind, the change of area, change of a social economic formation or succession of social economic formations. Gradually, capitalism, feudalism, capitalism, and socialism uh, succeed each other, and then the Sakharov idea of usage, the positive, uh, positive features of ca both capitalism and socialism, convergence of capitalism and socialism in the future of the mankind. <laughs> Ninth, a uh, tenth. This coefficient is uh, greatly important for the future of the mankind. In all the world, in the developed countries, three to five uh, discrepancy between the most uh, poor and the most um, the discrepancy between the most poor and the most uh, wealthy people is then not less than 24, not more than 24, but in, in Russia it is uh, about 10. It's All these conclusions are scientifically verified. And checked, um, tested in practice by, for example, Singapore. Interaction of five independent powers is the foundation of this country. And regardless of all this, the future of the planet Earth is more and more uh, alarming. It's the planet signals. Uh, about some, it warns us about the future. Yes, yeah, so excuse me, but your, the time limit is over. We have to give the floor to other people.
Thank you very much. And I have already announced that uh, next next floor goes the Wang Weigo, professor from China. He will be talking about about the concept of global civilization. Very important uh, presentation. And next presenter will be Valentina Mikhailovna Bondarenko from Kondraty Foundation. Dear pre Chairman and dear guests and colleagues, good morning. I'm by Mr. Jian Jianhua. I participated in the process of editing these volumes. The topic of my presentation deals with ideas of global civilization. The first part of my report is thinking within the framework of global civilization. Second part legislative base. In scientific works presented here, first, is the issue of global thinking within the framework of new civilization. Putting it simple, From the point of view of civilization development, the mankind has overcome four types of uh, the, uh, the mankind has passed through four types of civilization development. We had overcome three phases of civilization development, and we are now in transition period, confronting new civilization development related to global civilization. Thanks to scientific development and development of innovation technologies, the entire mankind will find itself in a new continuum. However, Because within the framework of global civilization, uh, there still exist contradictions between the components of this global civilization which lead to cultural disagreements. Uh, and this creates an obstacle for further development. We have to resolve these contradictional issues. Uh, 
details you may find in our scientific works and the works of uh, Mr. Jan Shoha. The second part of my presentation, I wanted to say that scientific work is more than 40 years of scientific activity of Mr. Jan Shoha. And it's worth mentioning that in the foundation of his scientific approach was not just one teaching, but Mr. Chen Shuahua has studied the issue from all sides. And in the foundation of his scientific work, is conglomerate of uh, both traditional views and modern views on scientific argument. issues related to changes of uh, philosophy outlook have been analyzed and as well as modern situation in science. Also in science in his science works are analyzed specific features of western culture western civilization as well as of oriental culture as well as why are, there are cultural contradictions humankind way towards humanist humanistic society is forecasted. thought from the stage of animal essence towards intellectual essence have development of human thought has been analyzed as well as issue of individualism and collectivism. Were it not for individuals, there would be no development of humankind. As for a place that human being occupies in 
environment. And to this respect, man's approach to environment has been analyzed throughout the history of mankind and ways to resolve the challenges related to man's place in environment uh, issues have been suggested. Cosmological issues are analyzed in this work. Human life uh, issues, life processes, the meaning of human life. As well as future avenues for the development of mankind. The issues of theology have been analyzed. Religion had always influenced the development of mankind. All aspects of human life are permeated by spirit. A human being may not exist without spirit. This work analyzes human faith issues and the way the faith in the future, what will, what will the human being believe in the future, uh, how will it influence and this will influence the development of mankind as a whole. concept of civilization development of man has been suggested. with the results of 40 years of activity of Jin Shua Ha and uh, if you read this work you'll be able to draw your own conclusions as uh, about the theory he has suggested. Quite unexpectedly I've heard such a presentation of my student. I didn't expect him to talk about it. But once he said about it, I will add something from on my on my own. Well, when in 1999 we have uh, created, we have started OPGC, scientists from 12 countries prepared Global Civilization Manifesto. Then. We have recruited professionals from 30 countries. And in this manifesto, the result of my studies have been reflected. Uh, 
The organization we have started now is the main result of my studies. Respect. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. I'm dealing with nosferic education. In the last seven to eight years. So I'd like to present my vision. Vernadsky theory of biosphere include the main laws of harmonious development of life in, uh, on Earth, defining the main features of uh, life. Vernadsky wrote for the first time that a human being is also a quantum system characterized by dualism, its corporeal body, and as well as spiritual body harmonious unity of these two essences of man is in separate part of the universe. The issue is that the human being is understood not as a part of the whole, but as a separate living structure. Without experience of development of humanistic science and the development of education indicates that the human being is not considered as part of a universal unity, but is considered as an individual which further increases disharmony with the environment. The history of science about man gives us reasons to state that the human being should become the main priority of development of uh, education in the next century. The important part is that the understanding of human phenomena on Earth should unite all the achievements of science uh, to, uh, together with the religion Mm, teaching, religious teachings about human being. Any information is uh, in DNA as a wave, energy material capsules, responding and resonating, recognizing images, words, resonates in uh, this, uh, the brain, states Astafiev. Cosmic outlook of a uh, human being has been born 5,500 years ago in the dark brain of Arhantrop, further developed in Neanderthal person. In the early stages of development, man was very close to nature, and this cosmic knowledge has been received by the chosen few. Currently in the 21st century, the era of unprecedented scientific innovation has uh, started. The uh, human being uh, penetrated into genome, uh, brain psychology, and the United World laws. Everybody understand that the development of brain managing uh, human activity is done in the course of evolution. Thanks to the development of science, it became clear that the brain has developed gradually from one evolution step to another. Uh, mankind is unable to fully master all the abilities of brain. This process uh, has been spread through evolution ladder. Evolution of brain includes mastering higher and higher con contours and neuron uh, assemblies of the brain which results into improvement of consciousness, development of culture, and unavoidable improvement of a living standard, which leads to changes of uh, 
outlook of the members of civilization. Mobilization of education is directed towards internal resources of humankind through the inclusion of the right brain hemisphere, the unit unification of both hemispheres will increase the abilities of human thought and will open abilities for non-linear th linear thinking and projecting the result of actions, moral self-regulation, and uh, using of its internal energy in harmony with nature. The new evolution in uh, nospheric education is being born, uh, created by Natalia Maslova. Nosferic education is the trend which is in harmony with the laws of the world. The goal is set for the first time to study the laws of the world and follow them. The education has included not just the brain function, the body is also included since it is a biological antenna and each cell is a store storage of information. Therefore, each lesson becomes a self-discovery to be in harmony with nature. Today, we pay higher, very high price for having neglected spiritual essence. We have chased away spiritual force which gives a meaning to human existence. As a result of absence of the spiritual and moral program, the disciples uh, demonstrate uh, reduction of uh, emotions, a hierarchy of motivation, uh, dis distortion of critic criticism and spontaneous behavior. This is a negative psyche distortion, and which it, it, it is the result of the uh, gap between three fun main functions of educational, moving, and, and, and so on, which don't complete and motivate each other. The, the most important task of the new education is to teach and learn new methods and new ment mental skills to f uh, liberate the brain from the non-organized uh, structures which um, badly affect the activities and it is important to get rid of destructive systems. So we will continue with the, the presentation. Uh, the floor goes to Chesnakov, Vyacheslav Chesnakov. Uh, academic secretary, secretary academician of uh, Russian Academy of Science and the head of the uh, com commission for the Vernadsky heritage. Mm -hmm. This year, Russian Academy of Science has started and already completed and ha has already finished, finalized the printing of 24 volumes of Vernadsky's selective works by Academician Vernadsky. You show one by one by one. It is reproductive. Those who can read, you read, and I will be talking about what I want to say, saying what I want to say. You skip. It, it represents the content of all 24 volumes of Vernadsky heritage. Who wants to get it in digital form, you can get access to it. This is the director of our institute, other pictures also. Based on the decision of the Scientific Council and our commission, you can skip it over faster. The first edition of Vernotsky works was exercised in six, six volumes by the Academician Vinogradov, and back in 1960s it was the founder and the first director of the Institute of Gale Chemistry of our Russian Academy of Science. Academician Yanshin uh, founded the library for Vernadsky, for Vernadsky publications uh, from 2002 to 2010. We published 12 volumes and this year we undertook 24, publishing the 24 volumes. Is it um, um, a lot or is it not enough? Is it enough? 
uh, how this um, is uh, how can it be compared with all the heritage of Vernadsky? Only in the Russian Academy of Science are archives. The Vernadsky Foundation uh, counts to one uh, hun one hundred four hundred and forty thousand pages. So what we published is just tip of an iceberg. So uh, we have to walk and walk, um, um, digesting the Vernadsky heritage. But um, the heritage is not only kept in the Russian Foundation. A lot is in Harvard University. A great foundation is in, in the massive one of information in France and Ukraine and other various countries of Europe. Can you imagine? Whereas it's this endless amount of work uh, left to the generations to come. And completing my my talk, I want to uh, make one quotation, give you one quotation of his works. Uh, it's Autotrophic uh, Mankind, which was published in 1925 in French. This uh, sounds very freshly. The mankind has um, destroyed the uh, innate virgin nature. He, he introduced cultural cultural d d breeds. He, he has changed the all ge uh, geochemical reactions. The face of the earth is now different, and is now striking. With, but he has he hasn't yet achieved any uh, the proper supply of his own life. Thank you very much for your attention. And now, well, it was a break for the presentation, but now we will continue, uh, go back to awarding people. As far as I understand, this ceremony uh, will be headed by, authorized by Irina Sudarkana, deputy uh, chair of the Vernadsky Foundation. Dama говорит, the, the lady is not speaking into the microphone, that's why I can't hear her. It is a great honor to award such outstanding people who are dealing with the civilization problems and development of the civilization. That's why I would like to uh, pass this award of this memorial memory medal in the 100 years anniversary, 50th anniversary of Vernadsky. The medal goes to Abro Mr. Abrosimov from the administration, uh, presidential administration, to Vladimir Akimov. So Mr. Abrosimov is here from administration, presidential administration. Nikolai Vasilievich for his contribution for the development of global monitoring and for prediction of forecast of emergency situations. Thank you very much, Greg. This Olga Paulna Irmilina is awarded the first deputy of the general director to the general director of the Institute of Economic Strategies. Olga Paul, now you're here with us. Yes, she was somewhere. Yes, 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 she's busy doing something around the Congress. Valery Kushlin gets another medal. Olga Paul is here. Is the main organizer of this conference, of this um, Mm-hmm. Valery Kushlin.
Victoria Perskaya, Pen Min Kuan, General Secretary of Organization for in Support for Global Civilizations. Thank you very much. We are very grateful to you. Mikhail Faleev is not here with us, so he will be later. Farah Suheil, he's professor of the Lebanon University and the director of the Open University of the Dialogue of Civilizations. The medal goes to him. Certainly, you can say a couple of words. You're welcome. It's a great honor for me uh, to be rewarded by this medal in this beautiful building of the Russian Academy of Science. This medal, uh, named in the Vernadsky, is the genius of the world science. It's a scientist from the big letter V. It's a great science. It's a genius. I don't want to say a lot about it, because I want to tell you what, to give this message. We have to do everything we can in all, on the whole world, disseminating this, uh, the mission and the philosophy of the great of great Vernadsky, and in this uh, respect, this year, as far as you know, in UNESCO and some other countries um, uh, celebrated the 150th anniversary of, of Vernadsky on the behalf of the Lebanon Russian. Uh, open University and House, together with the International Institute for Peter M. Sarokin International Institute and Anglo Phonic University in uh, uh, of Amsterdam in Lebanon, we wanted to organize an international conference under the title of Nosphere, Vernadsky Nosphere, and the civilization of the field. It will, we, we man, didn't manage to fulfill it this year, but we are determined to have it next year in April, and we are intended, we plan to to publish uh, the book in three or four languages, the deeds of the the materials of the conference, and we will in, will include new newly obtained materials by uh, works by Vernadsky. Uh, the languages will be Russian, Arabic, French, and probably English. So it's a small gesture, it's a small move uh, to some in the in memory of this great uh, um, uh, scientist. More people know about these achievements, about the genius of this Russian, of this Russian. Better they become. Thank you, Maria. Mr. De Flogger, the medal goes to to Martin Pasqualetti. No, he's not here, unfortunately. Mr. John Van John. Uh, Mrs. Jowline. Yes, she's here, she's coming. The medal goes to her. Very, I'm very pleased to pass this honorable man at medal to you and to take a photo with you, thank you. Yes, you're welcome to say a couple of words. Dear friends, dear guests, it's a great honor for me to get this medal, this award, to be awarded with this wonderful medal. I wanted to thank my teachers, supervisors, especially Mr. Dr. Jan Shahua. And uh, also I would like to to call for the to the participants of the conference to continue this noble, this very rewarding act, uh, activities in support of uh, global civilization. Thank you very much.
Mr. Matthews. He is not here. Or is he? Robin Matthews. The medal goes to Robin Matthews. From Great Britain. Is he here? No, no. Oh, he's coming. Yes, it, it's him. From Great Britain. Robin Matthews. Great Britain. Спасибо большое. Thank you. Большое спасибо. Я очень удивлен, если честно, оказанный мне честью. Очень удивлен. И счастлив в то же время. Um, quite overcome by it, and thank you very much indeed. И господин Альберто Гаспарини. Мистер Альберто Гаспарини. Yes, it's he, he's he. For the contribution into the development of the world futurology, of futurology. Uh, the uh, thinking of uh, the thought of uh, uh, Vernaschi, Professor Vernaschi, is, uh, is but uh, in uh, Italy it's also connected with the Teilhard de Chardin, because uh, no sphere is uh, very important and very, and also Teilhard de Chardin, that is a Catholic, but he was a Catholic, a special Catholic, not very accepted by the uh, Church by the Catholic Church for a certain period. So, great honor to uh, Bernatsky, to the continu uh, continuator of uh, the uh, thing, the thought of uh, Bernatsky. Thank you very much. Thank you. And in, in the end, I want to... So we, I want to invite all the participants to the final conference dedicated to the conference organized together with the Minister of Finance of the, of the Russian Federation, uh, in support, supported by the Russian Foundation Vernatsky on the 17th of November, of the 17th December. I will ask the Yuri Vladimir to do me a favor. Uh, uh, those who would like, would wish to take part in this conference, give they they should give me the address in Mahavaya in Vernadsky Museum, 11 Mahavaya White Hall of the State Geochemical Museum, just opposite the Kremlin Wall, waiting for you. And finally, dear colleagues, much respected honorable friends, for several minutes I will keep your attention by um, inviting Mr. Bazaluk here to the stage. I will be awarding him with the diploma of the International Academy for Sustainable Development. He becomes the honorary member of this academy.
Oleg Alexandrovich in the Academy of the Global uh, Studies will be de doing a lot of very important work. And now a couple of words, nevertheless, uh, about how our section is going to work, or no session, sorry. It's a bit in all the records in terms of uh, that we, the, the majority of the presentation as the number of uh, foreign participants was um, higher than anywhere else. So this section, this session is, you know, uh, many of them were, of us were awarded by medals and orders from Vernadsky. I want to thank the um, director, the directorship of the Vernadsky Fund, Vladimir Grachov, Yelena Sudarikova, and uh, others. And I hope that we will take part in the uh, meeting, in the seating, which um, has mentioned. It will be very teaching and interesting at the same moment, at the same time. And if we look at the contentional part of our session, then uh, it seems to me that it has clearly emphasize the fact that ideas, Vernadsky ideas are not just up to date, but they bring us further to next level of thinking. And uh, I think Valery Buslin has brilliantly illustrated it, that Vernadsky methodology starts working because the achievement that of the past now became a vehicle for obtaining new knowledge. And I believe that we have realized that just as Vernadsky ideas are the methodological foundation for the development of both theory of sustainable development, I believe the theory has not been yet created, it's just being developed. We probably could speak about the concept of sustainable development the strategy has is adopted but the, 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 this this theory influences the theory of noosphere uh, generating modern ideas illustrating the fact that the classical idea of noosphere as the triumph of intellect on the planet earth is now getting its distinct shape. I believe that the session materials are of considerable interest. They are published in this magazine. All of them, or almost all of them. The reports that has not yet been published, Yuri Vladimirovich has assured they will be published in the next issue of the magazine. So please submit your materials. They will be published in a very prestigious journal, Partnership of Civilization. At this point, I would like to thank you all for your presence, the speakers for their presentations and discussion. Thank you very much. All of the, I thank all the participants. 12.30, we'll reconvene at 12.30 for the next session. Let's thank the chairman. Thank you.